Hi students, in this video we will see the anticoagulants. I am Dr. Badrinath, working as a professor. Anticoagulants are the substances which breaks the clot into a pieces. See here, sub separate our pieces are there. Blood, how smoothly is going on? Okay, it is a very good for our health. Okay. And in my last video, I told uh, coagulants. See here, how they coagulate together. Okay. Here, the there is a form. It is a reverse, just like ulta and palta. Ulta, palta. Now, in this video, the main target, we will concentrate on the anticoagulants. Very important topic. Anticoagulants, which breaks the clot, which diffuses the clot. This is the, as per the syllabus of your university, okay, pharmacology 2. And see here, the highlighted ink is anticoagulant. That is our topic. Our learning outcome today is anticoagulant. Hematonics, coagulants, all these are uh, I completed in my last video. I have already completed and go and watch them. After subscribing the channel, click on the playlists. Playlists, okay. In my channel page, click on playlist so that you will get all in a subject wise. Anticoagulants are also called as synonyms. Blood thinners. Blood becomes less viscous. It becomes just like a watery, very less viscous, thin. And also these are the substances that prevents the coagulation, that slows the coagulation, substances that reduces the coagulation are prolonging the clotting time. Clotting time will be prolonged. That is also called as anticoagulants. Thrombolytics. Already thromb is formed, but it will be break down. Thrombolytics. Platelet aggregate prevention. I already told platelet is one of the important factor for the clotting of the blood. Here, platelet aggregate preventers, inhibitors. Anti-platelet aggregators also we can use. Any name we can use just like a god. God is having a several names. Any name also you can call, he will, he will answer. Yeah, now, anticoagulants are needed in two cases, both cases. In vitro also we need anticoagulant and also in vivo, outside the, inside the body also. In vitro means in the lab, outside the body. In vivo, in the body, in the body, inside the body, it is called a in vivo, just like viva was, viva was how the viva you are saying to your teacher from inside the body. So just like viva, you keep in your mind the viva inside the body. See why this anticoagulants we needed in in vitro, come to the point, in vitro, in vitro means in the lab, in the diagnostic lab in the blood bank. Why all this we need? See here, important to avoid the blood clot in blood sample at diagnostic center. Change the spelling center. See here, all these are the test tubes used to collect the blood. See, once they collected the blood, suppose say within a fraction of minutes, it is get clotted. Then how we will do the test? There is no proper blood flow. That's why all the tubes having a different colors indicates for different purposes. That is out of the syllabus of our topic. But keep in your mind, it is already having some liquid inside. It is already supplied with the, some liquid inside. That liquid acts as a anticoagulant. So that what happened, the people, they came and they will withdraw the blood sample from your body. They will put into the, their test tubes. So in the test tube, if they will keep, now what happened, the blood will not be clot, will not be clot up to the time of testing. Either it may be a one day or two day up to the time of testing. And also blood donation camp. See here in blood donation camp, you have donated the blood. This is a blood bag. It is collected your uh, blood. And suppose say if there is a clot of blood, then what, what is the purpose of giving the blood? See, all the blood will be wasted. That's why blood bags already consist of some liquid inside. 
that is called as anticoagulant that is very important it appeared in number of competitive examination what is the name of the liquid which acts as a anticoagulant in the blood bags it is very important for pharmacy students nursing students mbbs students and all okay so in in vitro in the lab two times are there one is in the testing diagnostic testing center and another one is a blood bank blood bag see easily you can remember and sample test tubes now in vivo why anticoagulants need in vivo see body has to circulate in the blood has to circulate in the body regularly if blood is no circulation all the organs will die that's why in order to circulate the blood suppose say blood is coagulated in the inside it becomes a all the clots are there no proper blood supply heart failure kidney failure brain failure everything fail 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 that's why it compulsory it requires see mainly important to dissolve the blood clots see blood clots in two condition here also two condition there also two condition in vitro in vivo also two conditions what are that coronary arteries very smallest very narrowest arteries which are supplies the blood to the heart from the heart from address is also heart to address is also heart coronary blood vessel very narrow easy to block even on 10 to 15 rbcs fused together it blocks coronary artery that much of dangerous so that's why you will get a heart stroke see here how painfully he got a heart stroke because of the blockage of coronary arteries due to the formation of clots blood clots in such a condition you have to give anticoagulant and keep in your mind in the same fashion brain stroke only there is a two stroke heart stroke brain stroke there is no kidney stroke there is no liver stroke nothing only two strokes are important why means both organs are having a narrow blood vessels very easy to clot very easy to block way is very restricted even 15 to 20 rbcs are more than enough to make a clot in that narrow see here that's why we will get a brain stroke and also let's see here coronary artery is related to the heart not corona corona is a virus coronary artery coronary name is same see here brain artery see here brain how grooves in the grooves see here blood vessels you can see here how narrow is there and see i dilated one uh, blood vessel see here it, there is a formation of clot here so there is no blood supply to this part so entire brain which is present in this area see my cursor the brain tissue which is present in this area will die when the brain dies automatically certain part of the body will be failure that's why blood supply to brain is important blood supply to heart is important otherwise heart stroke blood uh, brain stroke brain stroke leads to paralysis ah, now you come to the important classification this table is very important anticoagulants used in in vitro in the lab this appeared in number of question paper we are using a liquid either in the test tubes or in the black bags blood bags see here first one is heparin heparin is very important it is we can also use heparin in in vivo also keep in your mind heparin is a two uh, we can use for both in vitro as well as in vivo see here used in vitro heparin see the units 150 units to prevent the clotting of 100 ml of blood and calcium is very important calcium complexing agents name is calcium but here you will get a three sodiums three sodiums the three sodiums are very important forms only names are important dose is not important for heparin dose is important for heparin it is a dual double action it acts both in vitro as well as a in vivo sodium citrate sodium oxalate sodium entate these three names keep in your mind calcium complexing these three are present either in the tissue uh, that is a collecting tubule test tube or and that is also present in the blood bags i will show you in the blood bag see here blood bag 
CPDA solution. The name is called as CPDA. One. Here you can see here. Citrate. What is meaning of CPDA? Citrate, phosphate, dextrose, adenine solution. CPDA. You have to. I have already told no sodium. Sodium. See here, sodium is there. Sodium citrate, sodium acid, citric acid, sodium citrate, sodium biphosphate. I have already told no three types of sodium. One form is there here. You can see the blood bag consists of C, P, D, A solution. The remaining not required much. Only the solution name. What is the sodium forms and heparin are important. Okay, use it in in vivo. In vivo, that is in the body, which makes the blood to circulate, to circulate, which makes the blood to become a thin. See, parenteral anti-coagulants. Parenteral means injection, injection, injection. Parenteral form. What are the parenteral? And second one is oral. We are taking a coagulants orally, orally. Okay, oral anticoagulants, parenteral anticoagulants. Indirect thrombin inhibitors like a heparin. I already told you no, heparin is also came. Here the names are important. Heparin, low molecular weight heparin is also available. Fonda Paranex. See here, Pari Heparin, Heparin. Fonda Paranex and Danaparoid Heparin. Here also you can see Parry Heparoid. Next is direct thrombin. Here see this is also important mechanism. Indirect thrombin inhibitors, direct thrombin inhibitors. Leperiudin. Peri here also Heparin type. Heperiudin and Bivaliudin and Argatroban. Argatroban. Agarbati ban. Agarbati, Agarbati, Doop Stick Ban, Agar Ban, Agatro Ban appeared in number of question paper. What is the use of Agar? In hospital pharmacist examination like ESI, drug inspector, Agatro Ban appeared a number of times. And oral, orally you are taking in the form of tablets or capsules, Kaumarin derivatives, Kaumarin, C O U M A R I N, Kaumarin, Kumari. You can see Kumari 21F. The movie is there. Kumari. So here warfarin is very important. Remaining is not much important. Discount to you. Only one thing is warfarin sodium. Very, very, very important. And it is important for pharma students also. Drug drug interactions. Almost all drugs will be interacted easily with warfarin. Warfarin. And the remaining are uh, not much important. Yeah. Now come to the only names. You just see the names so that you can remember easily in the brain. See, that's why I collected all this picture from the internet for you only. If you read the heparin directly, you will forget. That's why here I have shown the heparin injection. See, 1000 IU, international units IU. Heparin, enoxaparin, bemiparin, Fonda Parinex, just now we saw Fonda Parinex and Idra Parinex. In that uh, name itself, Parin, Parin is there. Okay. And remaining molecular weight and all not important. No, in competitive exams also, nobody will ask the only names low molecular weight heparin, Fonda Parinex. Warfarin, I have already told no warfarin. Orally taking is called as a orally. That's why it is a tablet. That is injection, taking parenterally. Heparin is parental, heparin, parental. Here, warfarin, orally you are taking. See, warfarin, I compared with the wafers. We, that is also we are taking orally biscuits, wafers, biscuits with cream, chocolate, or whatever it may be with cocoa. Different flavors are there, very easily soluble into the mouth. That's why warfarin is very important drug, orally anticoagulant in vivo. And now we come to the next class, thrombolytics. Thrombus is formed, that will be lysed. Lysed, just like an ox, we cut the trees now in the same fashion, thrombolytics. 
in thrombolytic streptokinase urokinase altiplase only three names and retaplase the remaining is not important four names this matter is not important not much but however key four names are important streptokinase urokinase kinase kinase alta place atta atta just like alta alternative place another place alternative place rata place rat place rat r a t rat you know rat is animal rat place okay see streptokinase is a protein which is synthesized by the streptococci urokinase is a human enzyme in the exams competitive exams they will ask what is urokinase it is a enzyme streptokinase is a protein it is prepared by the bacteria synthesized by the streptococci and it is available in the injection form see here heparin is 1000 units here see here how many zeros are there? 3 4 5 5 lakh 15 lakh it is 15 lakh international units next thrombolytics streptokinase so you saw no you see here urokinase for injection it is a 5 lakh 5 lakh 5 lakh units see here uses of fibrinolytics administrator of fibrinolytics which breaks the fibrin thrombolytics which breaks the thrombin here you can see the mechanism of action pulmonary embolism that and all we can take a screenshot and we can see that but not much important this slide only name injection keep in your mind here i should see alta place alternative place yeah now you come to the important superstar aspirin aspirin is anti platelet name itself you can see here aspirin a a stands for aspirin a anti p platelet anti platelets anti platelets aspirin actually aspirin we started with the pain killer just like for headache body pains we are taking aspirin but nowadays nowadays it's new usage ke old drug new usage what is that usage anti platelet activity it is very important for brain stroke people it is a very important for heart stroke people because it prevents the platelet formation aggregation formation activation of platelets will be prevented so blood is always flow smoothly smoothly blood will flow either in coronary artery or larger artery smaller artery whatever it may be that's why aspirin star it is a superstar that's why i am calling as a superstar aspirin is wonderful drug you have to if suppose there is a any stroke from the brain to the heart you have to take the aspirin up to the lifelong after die also before going to some karyakrama you have to take even though you died you wake up wake up call your son and you ask a tablet and you take the tablet and you die that much of importance is there up to the last breath up to even the last breath also you, you need this type of these things keep in your mind that is a important aspirin is available in the form of disprin disprin is very soluble tablet see here you can see disprin sharp very sharp immediately it acts and also see here bubbles are there disprin see here bubbles tablets you can put in a glass so that effervescent effervescent tablet will and you can be drink it that's it that's why i compared the star with the superstar krishna superstar star star superstar aspirin is a star and platelet aggregate inhibitors aspirin same this is the matter of the related to aspirin platelet aggregation inhibitor decreases the formation of a platelet rich clot decreases the action of chemical signals everything not much important keep in your mind uses aspirin is used in prophylactic treatment of transient cerebral ischemia see here ischemia i made a video on ischemia very important you can go and watch all my videos okay and thank you motivate yourself watch all videos go to playlists in playlist i have kept all my videos so you subscribe and go through the playlists okay and all the best for your examination